This is what I would call a review video of this Logitech C270 web camera. And obviously, well, obviously, it's it's actually the camera that I'm using. I am using Linux, and I did not have to perform much of anything. <laughs> Took the camera out of the box, plugged it in via universal serial bus connection on this older Dell desktop computer, and it worked right away. Maybe in overtime I can show you that at, that I'm actually using the webcam. I can run the LS USB, which stands for List Universal Serial Bus Devices on Linux. But for now, what I can show you is I can show you the package contents, and I will show you a, where I bought it from. I bought it from Target for, nah, I think I have the receipt somewhere. Anyways. So let me show you the actual box first. So I think let me I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm over here by the camera and here's the box. No, this is not an unboxing video. It's just you know. Uh a very simple box. Not much to it. This is this will be a good demonstration video too. This is the actual C270 webcam from Logitech that's installed and using my encoder. All right, and then the side and the back. And then this side. And then we can, uh, I even show you the bottom to show you that it is indeed a Logitech camera. Okay, let me read off the box. C270 HD for high definition web camera, high definition video calls, appeals. Oh, <laughs> that's in a different language. It's in multiple languages. Anyways. 720p 30 frames per second and what else does it say high definition webcam that goes beyond built in okay uh, what else is on the back it says widescreen high definition 720p video calls the the lighting in here is really poor i'm having yeah very terrible lighting uh maybe i can turn on another light Okay, I'm not sure if that lighting is going to do me much good that I just moved. Crisp, high definition, 720p video calls with 55 degree DP DV and auto light connection. Okay. Okay, I just momentarily paused the video so I could get better lighting over here. Okay, I can read it much better now. Uh... Oh, it's in a different language again. Oh, that's a, oh, 
mono noise reducing microphone, clear conversations up to 1.5 meters with a noise reducing microphone. So it has a built in microphone, which I almost never use the built in microphones for these video cameras, web, web cameras. And what's on the side? High definition webcam that go. Oh, I already read that. There's not much to the specifications. There's not a whole lot of information. It's just a very basic camera. And I can show you what this was part of the box. And then there is some instructions that I have not read, but I'll just show it to you. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't perform unboxing videos. That's, that's why. Why? What? I'm going to show you what, while I unbox something. Why? <laughs> this is a review video because I'm actually trying to get the camera to focus. Oh, important safety. Yeah, this is all that's went, what's in it for your instructions. It's a very basic camera. Oh, what else? Oh, it's an Espanol. Mi Espanol es muy mal. It's also in Portuguese, Espanol, what other language? Uh, Parlez-vous Francais? That's it. It just has... It doesn't really have much information. Now, the instructions are on the box. And if you, you may or may not be able to see. So this is a good test to see if this webcam... And also, you, you might want to take into the fact that lighting... The lighting in here is not the best. The, these are, I think, all LED lights. And so, anyways, these are the instructions that are actually on the box. <laughs> I, I looked at them for a second, and I was like, nah. I'll be able to figure this out, and I did. And I am using a Debian derivation Linux distribution called MX Linux. All I did was plug it in. I opened up my encoder. It, it detected this webcam, and that was it, and I started testing with it. Well, can you see the instructions? It doesn't even have any words. It just, ha it just has some figures. <laughs> Check that out. Figure one. Okay. And then figure two. Oh, okay. Figure two shows the webcam in a computer. Wow, that that's pretty that's pretty basic there instructions there. Yeah. Anyways, okay. It may not be the best. I, I didn't need anything. Nah. It's just a web camera. I don't need. I did have a prior Logitech. Now okay, let me go over some other details that may or may not be important. I think the way it mounts is designed for probably a laptop, the lid, you know, the screen and the lid of a laptop. And then, here, I don't know why I'm wasting time with this crap. It does not have a female connector. Some of these, even web cameras, I think the previous one I had that was made by Logitech, it was 1080. It did have a... a connector to, to so that you could screw in a tripod. This one does not. It does not have the female connector so that you would screw in the male connect, connection from the tripod into the female connector on the webcam. It does not have one. I think it's designed to sit on like the, a, a laptop lid or even a monitor and just kind of overhang. So just uh, if you're if that's important to you. It's it's universal serial bus and it should it is supports Logitech. We can go out to the Target website and I don't know why I'm wasting time with this bullshit. Okay, now anything further? I'm not going to test the audio because I don't plan on ever using it. Maybe in overtime I can enable the. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because I might have to restart my encoder. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me tell you how much I paid for it. So if you want a really cheap webcam, you could have saved money. I bought it at Target yesterday for $29.99. $29.99. And 
United States dollars. Now, on the website, which I will show you here in a few moments, they advertise, I think, 17 something, 1780, almost 18 dollars. They said it was their online price. Well, you know, I guess I could have saved 12 dollars. I just, I had another reason to go to well I'm, I'm I bought another conden it's not a condenser mic I also purchased a universal serial bus microphone that I'm actually using and I paid the same price at Target that will be another video that's why I went to Target it's a long story my device that I used for condenser microphones for computers that was universal serial bus I accidentally dropped it on carpet and it no longer functioned so that I don't think I've ever dropped that before maybe I dropped it a couple of weeks I don't know I tried to open it up and I, I'm not a very good solder I think maybe I could have fixed it with a soldering iron I just didn't have one so I was like well and you know what I want you know you have to lug around anyways let's not digress about that so I had another reason why to go to Target and so I was like well you know what let me get another webcam Okay, now, and then including tax. So let's go back over to the computer, and then I'll, I can even move and see if it, I don't know, it tries to focus on me or not, I don't know, or it'll focus on this. Yeah, it, it seems okay, I mean... Compared to that other Logitech webcam, I think it seems okay. The other one was 1080, but I never recorded it in 1080. So, uh, the lighting is, uh, is important too. Certain lighting can affect, I think, the zoom and the quality of the recording. Okay, now let's go online. Since I'm already at the 12-minute mark, this is way too long of a video. Just, But, you know, it is like a demonstration video, actually. All right, so now let, let's go show you target this is the sales page for this exact logitech c270 it's three megapixel i think you can probably take photographs with it yeah you should be able to not just video it, it depends on the software you're using okay and this is it right here see how small it is it's 720p these little dots on pretty percent so it does have a built-in microphone on the front. It has a small little camera. Oh, that's my food. G give me a few seconds. And then you notice the green light. It does have a light. It has a LED light that turn that's turned on now. It's green. That I think that's the only indicator. If if the camera as soon as I plugged it in, the green light turned on. So, and then anything you notice how. You notice it's got this little stand. It's like the female character that would connect to a male camera tripod. Wait, yes, you can. My uh, that other Logitech webcam that I had, I actually connect. I installed it on a, on a camera tripod. You know the big tripods for like camcorders. Yes, it's just a little clip and a little stand. So, you know, just uh, just to be aware that uh, it's almost, um, I don't know how you would permanently attach this camera to anything. Okay. And, here's the and it, you see that the sand moves. It's cool. it kind of got, it looks like it's a hang on a monitor or even your laptop screen. Oh, is it? Oh, that's a video. We don't. We don't need to play the video. I don't need to make this. Oops. I don't need to make this video much longer. Actually, I need to run because that's my my lunch for today. Uh, any other pictures? No. I just want pictures. Oh, here's a another picture. It's very small. It doesn't even have the entire brand. <laughs> it just says Logi. And I, I was like, huh? Is, are you sure this is Logitech brand? What what brand is Logi? I don't know why they did that. And that's not a mistake because the photo shows it and the camera 
just says Logi. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I'm not a capitalist. I just noticed that. There's the camera right there. It's small, but it, it seems to work pretty decent. So, and I've been using web cameras for years for my YouTube videos. Yeah. Oh, here's another photo of it. Pretty small compared to that person's thumb. And there's the box. That's the same box that I showed you. Very small box. Oh, it says it works with Skype, Google Hangouts, FaceTime for Mac. I haven't tested any of that. I do not use Skype. I do not use Google Hangouts, and I do not own a Macintosh computer. Here's a video. Okay. Uh, let's. Those are all the photos. Now, you notice the price is $7.99. That's, it says, when purchased online. I could have saved $12. And I probably should have, but I was like, nah, I need to roll to Target to find. I actually bought some food there, too. Their food isn't too bad. Anyways, the um, I made some whole wheat pasta from Target. Anyways, so if you want to save some money, if you want an even cheaper web camera, you can get it for $18 right now as of the time of this video creation. I don't know when those prices might change. I, I do not know. You will get that price. You just have to order it online. Now, if you notice, it says ready within two hours. I'm not I'm not near that city, Greeley, Colorado. I'm quite a ways from there. But So you could, in order to get the price, you have to order online, and you would have saved $12, which I probably should have done because I hate capitalism, and I hate wasting money. But I figured... I. However, the this condenser mic, well, it's not a condenser, this universal serial bus microphone that I bought from Target that I'm using for this video, the price was $30 online, and it, and it gave me the same message. It said, when purchased online. I went into the store, and the same price, $29.99. So it seems like Target is, is it fluctuates. it's not always accurate. The website's not always accurate. You know what I'm saying? Well, the microphone was not more expensive. It was the same price in store, so I didn't save any money. But I could have saved twelve dollars. Okay, let's move along. Oh, it's got the pictures. Let's just scroll down. It's very basic, crisp, high definition, seven twenty p. The p stands for pixels, thirty frames per second. Video calls with a diagonal, fifty-five degree field of view and auto light correction. Compatible with popular platforms, including Skype and Zoom. I've only used Zoom once. Uh, Skype for video very rarely back in the day. I, ne I never use Skype anymore. The built-in noise reducing microphone makes sure your voice comes across clearly up to one and a half meters away, even if you're in busy surroundings. The C270's red, excuse me, right light two feature adjusts the lighting conditions, producing brighter contrasting images to help you look good. Oh, okay, I, I don't give a fuck what I look like, but. <laughs> if your aesthetics is important, if you're egotistical, narcissistic, and selfish like most Americans, oh, I, I, excuse me, some Americans, then I guess, you know, that matters. I could care less what I look on camera. Okay. The adjustable universal clip lets you attach a camera securely to, yes, to your screen or laptop. Yes. Or fold the clip and set the webcam on a shelf. Okay. Any other information? Oh, here's some more technical details on the left. Uh, six inches by three inches by 8.2 inches, about half a pound. It has the adjustable clip. Digital zoom for some. Okay, I cannot demonstrate that. On Linux, I'm not aware. Well, I, I don't know for a fact. I haven't really looked into it. There is no software that you can install from Logitech on Linux. I they I, I do not think that Logitech officially supports Linux. However, I have ins used a Logitech webcam before on Windows. I think it was Windows 10. So there may be software for both Apple Mac and crap and micro crap Microsoft Windows operating system because I've used it before. You have to download the software and it has a Zoom tool. This says it supports digital zoom four times. So digital means software. 
that is also the same language that is used for camcorders. When a camcorder says that the zoom and then it says digital, that means that it has embedded onboard software that will zoom. That is different. Optical zoom is different. Optical is manual. It's hardware. This camera is a webcam. It does not have hardware zoom. Megapixels, three megapixels, so you could use it as a, ca a camera to take photographs. Operating system compatibility, Microsoft Windows, Google Chrome operating system, Apple, iPhone. Did you know that iOS stands for iPhone system? or iPhone operating system okay Mac operating system okay and then it comes with the USB A which it's it's USB C USB A well yeah USB A I think that is USB 2.0 universal serial bus 2.0 bit to do a bit I could mm, I could be incorrect about that okay there there are different types of universal serial bus there's 1.0 1.1 2.0 3.0 and that deals with bandwidth okay it supports 1280 by 720 it has a built-in microphone and it's got a two-year limited warranty okay and you can obtain the warranty there's an 800 number if you ever need to call it worked right away on my Linux computer and imported all right and then there are some reviews there were a couple of people well there's 67 question and answer but I thought there were some, yeah. Oh, wow. This is, must be a different sales page because the one I looked at, oh, eh, wow, there's 140 reviews. I, I did read over some of the reviews. There were a few people that claimed the camera didn't work at all. But it does come with a warranty, so if you're strapped for money, oh, I hate money. So anytime I can say, yeah, that was a blunder. Oh, yeah. I don't give a fuck. You can call me a cheapskate all you want. I don't care. You can judge me all you want. Normally, I would order it online and, and receive $12 cheaper. But I was in a hurry, and I needed to obtain a, a microphone and some food. And Well, I'll be blunt and more honest. I was out of food. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'll just go to Target, and I'll look to see if they have a web camera and I'll see if they have a, a cheap universal serial bus mic microphone and I got both okay although I, I could have I could have saved m further money and just use the no I don't think I could be wrong but I don't think you want to well I don't know it's up to you the built-in microphones on some of these web cameras I don't I don't know man because you, if you want good sound you want to be as close to the microphone as possible. But anyways, I digress. Now, in closing, let me see if I can show you. I'll show you. I'll prove to you that this camera was installed on Linux. So I'll open up a terminal window and let me transition. Okay. Let me maximize, maximize the terminal window. And I'm just going to type in one command. Okay. LSUSB that stands for list services I think or list and then USB for universal serial bus if you notice here it says up here Logitech incorporated webcam C270 and it tells you the ID and so LSUSB just tells you what USB devices are installed and functioning on your Linux computer and it's a quick easy command to make sure that the hardware device that you just connected or maybe you're having problems maybe your hard maybe the camera didn't work or it quit working and I could quickly run that command to, to see if the operating system detected it I did not have to reboot it was it was just plug-and-play all right. Anything further? What I can do is this is obviously well into overtime. What I can do is I can go to Logitech's website web page. Here I'll I'll leave it on this, and I'm gonna see if they have. I, I'm pretty sure they do. Logitech C270, and then how about driver? Whoops. 
Okay, and I will show you. On screen, okay, this is the official web page for Logitech, their sales page. Look at the price, $29.99. So I paid their website price. I could have got it for $18. It's, it's the same camera because that's that yeah, is right there. Now what we can do is we can scroll down and we can look for uh, probably under support. View all downloads. Let's see if they have that camera software that will allow you to zoom. Okay, there are no down. Oh, I was wrong. That is interesting. A lot of these can't. Not all of them though. I assumed that since it was 720p that it doesn't look like they have any software well it, it's got four times zoom uh, there are no downloads for this version oh that's interesting huh well your software is going to have to include logitech c2070 hd cam is not able to pan tilt and zoom on mac os okay Huh. Oh, you know what? It may have detected my operating system. And that's why it says there's no downloads. So a lot of these websites now, are auto they automatically detect your operating system. I'm going to do one more search for you and see if, if Logitech C270 Windows... You could also type in Windows 11. Okay. Uh, there are there may not be any downloads. It uh, it could be because I'm on Linux and it's automatically detecting Linux. Although a lot of times you're able to you're able to of to still access downloads. Okay, they may not have downloads, but it may be built into the driver so that you can zoom. I, you know. All right, since I'm already just talking way too much already. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video again, and I'm going to select the webcam and choose the, the built-in microphone and see if it works. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and so you can see how far away I am. I don't know, I'm five feet away. I, I, I disabled this microphone, the USB microphone, and right now the audio is from the built-in microphone on that Logitech C270. I'm about, I would say, five feet away. I can walk over closer and see if the audio is better. Okay, so I'm like literally sitting right next to the, let, let me, oh yeah, I my encoder has a meter, and so I'm literally sitting right next to this Logitech C270, and using the built-in microphone exclusively. That microphone right there has been disabled in the operating system. I don't, I don't, I have no idea what it sounds like. I don't know if it sounds good, or if it's sufficient. I do not know. I almost never use built-in microphones in camcorders and also, unless I would absolutely have to, and also web cameras. Oh, did you know that Google, that Androids, Google Androids, they have obviously built-in microphones that are usually pretty bad, terrible. However, what you can do is you can actually, this is a, a tip since I'm talking about microphones. I'm not an expert. I've just studied and I've just learned. Audio to me is very important, especially on YouTube. The quality of your audio. Google Androids, you can... There, Some of the Google Androids has have a 3.5 millimeter jack. It's a digital jack. What you would do, they have converters. They have adapters. So what you would do is you would buy an adapter, plug it into the 3.5 millimeter jack on a Google Android, and then you would connect a external microphone, maybe USB, universal serial bus. 
I'm not sure you may even be able to use a, a mixer board and then oh yes so anyways all right that's the end of this video it's way too long but this to me is a pretty good demonstration video okay so my Okay, so my next video probably may be a demonstration video, review video about this $30, $30 microphone I bought at Target also. Also, I enable thanks. I don't know if it's working yet. In the future, if you like one of my videos and it was productive and it helped you solve your problem or just it helped you or it was productive and you learned something, hopefully you learned something from my videos. You can click on thanks under any YouTube video and you can donate to me. YouTube has a new donation. Well, it's not technically it's not for for f like donate donation funding, but it's a way that you can tip us YouTube content creators. So you would click on thanks and then choose how much of a tip you would want to give me. Adios.